Okay, so um, I first want to start off, ladies, with um, yes, learn from me. Yes, take in what I'm saying. But if what you are doing now shows you success and you're not having any issues with your host or you're not having any dud parties, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like if you have a final for a math exam the next morning and you know you're golden, don't learn, to, don't learn a new way to do it the night before and try to do that. So take everything I'm saying. Maybe if your parties are great and you haven't had any problems, cool, store this information for later. Um, or if you have somebody in your downline that's struggling, pass up this stuff off to them. But if your system works for you, by all means, don't try to fix it because it's not broken. So I did want to say that. All right. So I am going to start by saying, I feel like I'm going to backtrack a little bit. So I know that we talked about getting parties. Well, sometimes some of us struggle with getting parties, right? Um, so say you've got, you've got your party host, you found your girl. Um, so when it comes to prepping your host, my biggest piece of advice for this part is to go slow because if you kind of had to like talk somebody into having a party or maybe even offer them something to have a party the last thing you want to do is spew out all this information of okay here's what you need to do now because they're going to be like why did i agree to this so um i am a little manipulative at this point because i have had to be like tell people, um, no, you have nothing to lose. Have a party, blah, blah, blah. And you know, they've been on the ledge and then they're finally like, okay, I'll do it. So a lot of my coaching, my hosts and prepping them happens after one, they've already agreed to the party. And two, I've already set it up because there's no going back. <laughs> and I know that sounds bad, but if you literally just got their information and you're already spewing this information and they were on the fence about it anyway it's just they're just gonna back off and be like you know what no let's not even do this um so i go slow i'm a little manipulative about it but i still make it about them when i'm prepping my host so say i've got their link set up i've got their information and i've got their online group created once their online group is created i usually do two things I send them the graphic or a graphic, which there are some in Zaya Fire. I think there's some in the Ignite Your Fire training units. Um, and that graphic is the one that is like your hostess to-do list. And it says, you know, like, comment, tag, interact, blah, 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 blah. Um, I send them that. And then I also send them a bingo card. Um, I know that Erica posts some bingo cards yesterday, but there's tons out there. So after this call, um, I'm more than welcome, or I'm more than willing to share some with you. I'm not gonna lie though, I took them all from Erica. So I can't take credit for this, but there's tons out there. Um, I have a couple that are just my favorite because they're easier for me to keep track of. So um, we can post those and you can look over them. So the like comment, blah, 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 hostess to do checklist and the bingo card. And I, um, depending on my relationship with the host, I will either voice message them or I will text something out, which honestly the text part I have saved in my phone so I can give to the girls. If I know that they're at work when I'm texting them and stuff, I'm probably not gonna send them a voice message. Um, so, and normally what I say to them is, hey girl, your, your party is set up, this is awesome. Um, I'm so excited to get this kicked off and get you some free and half off stuff still making it about them. And then I say, I want you to take a look at these graphics that I just sent to you. The one on the right is basically a hostess to-do list. This is just reminding you to stay active in the party. The more excited you are, the more excited your guests will be. Um, and I'm super excited to share this with them and get you stuff. The second one or the one, the one on the left or whatever is the bingo card. Depending on the bingo card will depend on what happens if they fill it out. So some of the bingo cards out there are like, get one row, get this prize. I do a smaller bingo card most of the time. And it says, and then I say, if you fill this bingo card out by the end of your party, then you're going to get a free bomber bra on top of any rewards that you earn personally from me. 
and I'll say, I don't want you to look at this and think, oh my gosh, this is like seven or eight things and think, how am I going to do this? I'll say, this is meant to be spread out and I'm going to walk you through it. Because when it comes to prepping your host, you have to think like some of them don't even know what an online party is until you explain it to them. So if you just tell your host, like, make sure you're, you're commenting and liking, they're not, they're going to, they're not going to get it, you know? So I just assume that nobody knows anything and I have to tell them everything to do. And if I'm annoying, then I hope that they tell me, but if I'm not, <laughs> I hope that they listen. <laughs> um, because like I said, I want, I want this to be about them. So I kind of relate all this back to how do we get more parties? How do we get reps? How do we get sales all through parties? So you want every party to have the best possible outcome. So I should, I send them the graphic and a bingo card, either a voice memo or a text. And usually they're like, okay, great. That sounds awesome. And then I say, okay, cool. Your party's set up. So I always tell them now, before you go invite people, I would love if you posted a welcome message in the group. And then I'll say, because your friends don't know me and they don't know what they're getting themselves into. But if you post a welcome message that says, Hey, welcome to my Zaya party. This is what it is. This is what I fell in love with. Um, I can't wait to share it with you guys. Um, I said, then that will, when people get that invite and they see it, they'll kind of know what they're getting themselves into. And once again, it starts off with the host being engaged. Um, and then I have her invite all the people. Um, when it comes to her inviting all the people, if she's like, who should I invite? You know, you have, you have people on opposite ends of the spectrum. You have people that literally invite three people and they're like, I don't know anybody else. And I'm like, okay, well you do. So, or you have people that invite their whole friends list and don't tell anybody about it. So if I get either one of those. So say I get the girl with like three people and she's like, I don't have anybody else. I'm like, all right, well, you definitely talk to more than three people. Um, I will usually ask them to just reach out to a couple more people. There's also graphics on um, graphics, graphics, graphics that you can give your host about I'm hosting an activewear party or uh, attention activewear lovers. You can give them that and you can give them some verbiage. So sometimes I will literally write out what the perfect thing to say is with that to get more people in their party. Um, I like to send that regardless, but to the people that mass add, I always try to say like, hey, if you are mass adding, make sure that you at least message some of the people in there, especially the ones that you do talk to on a regular basis to kind of give them a heads up. Otherwise it just makes it not personal. Um, but the host is going to do whatever they want to do in the end, but you're going to, you're going to get either. Sometimes you'll get like one right in the middle, but we all know we've had that person that's only invited three people. And then the one that's invited their entire small town. So, um, just giving them graphics and coaching them helps. Um, like I said, the hosting, I'm hosting an activewear party. I give that to everybody regardless, but the ones that only have like three people in there, I will literally give them verbiage to go along with it. I see that we have a question. Okay. Um, how far in advance are you prepping your host? So usually I prep my host. Mm, okay. So depending on when I set the party up kind of depends on when I prep my host. If it is like a last minute party and I'm like starting it literally that day, I'm going to prep them right after I get the group set up. Because like I said, I don't necessarily want to, um, I don't want to overwhelm them. If it's something they've been on the fence about, I kind of already want to make sure that they're committed before I start, you know, giving some of this information. But like I said, it's meant to be very spread out. Like I don't like, okay, step one, we did this. Okay. You got that down. Step two. All right. You did your welcome message. Now let's get people in here. Um, if there is 
if it is a party that, okay, so say right now, I booked a party yesterday to start June 15th. I said, girl, I am so pumped for you. I know um, that you are going to kill this party because you're such a social butterfly on social media. Start telling your friends about Zaya and the closest ones to you about Zaya now and get them excited and ready for the party. And then even then sometimes I will say, um, I will give them that I'm having an active wear party graphic then if they're super um social on social media i'll give that to them now and then they'll usually say like hey ladies i found zaya i'm gonna have this party in a couple of weeks um drop a comment below if you want to be added or if you want to know more about it um, and that usually gets some engagement early on and can kind of prep them so it kind of just depends on when you're setting the party up the graphic for the attention activewear lovers we can post that along with the bingo cards when we're done um, I just got a new computer, so my screen sharing is not going to happen right now because I don't have a lot of stuff transferred over. Um, but I can put in Zaya Fire all the bingo cards and the graphics that I use, just how I did in the Ignite Your Fire group too. Um, and you guys are welcome to take those. Um, I know Maggie, the graph, I don't know if there's necessarily a graphic that host can send out in a message or text. There, I mean, there's the I'm having the active wear party or attention active wear lovers. Um, but I do believe there is some verbiage um, somewhere in the training for what other people can say when they're having an active wear party. But I always try to remember, um, I always try to remind people that being personal is best. So don't just send, don't have your host just send out a mass text because whenever I get a mass text, I'm automatically annoyed, even if it's from another MLM. So I like personal, I like all of that. Um, but you could definitely give her some examples of like what to say to people or just do the mass thing on Facebook um, for her actual page. Um, there is, Brie, there's not a certain amount of members I necessarily require. Um, I've done a party with eight people and it's hit $1,000, but that's because the host literally, these were all of her closest friends. But if, I, if it's me, the host, and like two other people, how are we going to get three orders? And are those two people committed to buying? So if the party is super, if the party is super low, that's something that I would kind of talk to my host about. Like, hey, are these girls actually committed? Maybe setting up a VIP link for you would be better. Or um, you can kind of change the way you do a party. I know that people have done like, parties in a day and just like something quick so that um but I don't necessarily have a certain number that I have required and I don't tell my host that I just assume that they're going to invite more than two people um so Chelsea for on average how many days do you do your party for this is different for every person so this also goes where the with the if it ain't broke don't fix it um, Erica cringes at the fact that I host my parties for 11 days. I host my, I start all my parties on a Monday and end them the following Friday because I want two new release days in my party and I want, um, two paydays in a party because I'm the kind of person where if I don't want to transfer money over that week, cause all my bills were due. And this is something I've never heard of before. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to buy it most likely. Um, and I also only like posting five to six times a day because I've been in parties where somebody's done a 45 minute live and I've thought I 100% don't have time to watch this or where every time I get like a notification, it's a new post in the party. And I'm like, I can't, I can't freaking keep up. Like, has this lady even like brushed her teeth today? So it kind of depends on how you want to run a party. But then Erica invited me to a three day power party and her host was super involved and super great. So it looked like a really successful party. Um, it just depends on what you're comfortable with. I would say average in the Zaya world, it's about a week. Um, and if it is something that has been planned for a while, um, you could probably do a week because a lot of her friends already know that it's coming. So, but maybe if it's the last minute, you want to do it longer. It's all about what you are comfortable with and what you have time for and how much you want to post each day. So there is no right or wrong answer. Um, yes. Okay. All right. So where was that? Okay. Um, we talked about the welcome message that she needs to post. If she has a picture of her and her Zaya, 
mow better, okay? If she doesn't wanna post it because she's not comfortable, don't make her do anything that she's not comfortable with. But I'm like, hey girl, if you have some Zaya, post a picture in it with that welcome message because I guarantee your friends are gonna see you in it and they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, what, what is that top? What are those leggings? Um, rather than always seeing me. So I wanna talk about really quick about Facebook has changed a lot since I have started. So I used to be able to do a party and my host could kind of be like a half-ass host and most people would still see the post. The new Facebook algorithm, ladies, is a bitch. I'm sorry if you have kids around. It is, it's awful. If your host is not commenting on almost every post in every in capitals, your, those guests are most likely not going to see that post because you're not friends with a lot of them. So sometimes I've had my downline say, listen, I just don't understand why this party is such a dud. There's 50 something people in it. And then I go through the, the party and it's like, I look at the post and it's like seen by seven, seen by eight. And why? Because the host isn't commenting. So when I tell them, when I start posting, so she posts her welcome message, I introduce myself, and then I start posting about the party. Um, I say, hey girl, now that I've started to introduce products and what this is all about, I need you to comment on every post. And I I'm straight up honest. I'm like, listen, the fa Facebook al algorithm sucks. If you don't comment, most likely your friends won't see it because I'm not friends with them. Um, and most of the time they're pretty good about that. Um, and then I'll say, I know that it's annoying to comment on every post and I know that you have a busy life and I know that you're probably at work, but don't hesitate to, when you take a bathroom break, go through the party. When you lay down at night, go through the party. If you've had a crazy busy day and you haven't been on your phone, it's life. I understand it, but just try to do it. And I tell them, listen, this party is 10 days, 10 days out of your life. And you could get like a crap load of free and half off activewear for it. So even if you have to lay down and do it at the end of the night, I understand, but throughout the day is much better. Um, and then depending on the, the post, I might tell them like, hey, this would be a good thing to comment, like comment this. Or if I am talking about the all-star brawl that day, I'll be like, hey, make sure you tag your girls with big boobs because we've all got the big booby friend out there and she needs to see this brawl, okay? And I will literally text them that. Or we all have that one girly girl friend that's obsessed with pink, okay? Tag that girly girl friend when I am talking about the hot pink leopards, which now they're on sale, but you guys know what I mean. Like they know what their, especially their closer friends taste is. If I'm talking about um, the hustle shorts that day, everybody knows someone that does CrossFit because everybody that does CrossFit doesn't shut up about CrossFit. So tag your CrossFit person. She would like that. So comment on every post. I don't care what it is. And you know what? If you're out of ideas or you're drunk and you don't know what to think, um, cool, drop an emoji. It's something. It's something for them to see the post. And that's gold. Okay, my host is also in posting the party, but the party is still dead. Any suggestions? Um, have you, I know you're doing free shipping, but have you done a giveaway? Um, Chelsea, in every party that I do, um, I do a free bomber bra or copper charge tank drawing for anybody that purchases. And, um, and if they, so I do a free bomber bra or copper charge tank if they purchase. Um, and if nobody's liked or commented on that, I literally will message my host and I'll be like, tag all of them, tag all of them. They need to see that. Because like some people I remember, um, and even now some people that I've signed up that were in previous parties, they've said, literally, I only purchased because I wanted to win because I loved, I love winning. But, um, yeah, I agree with Erica An engagement game giveaway engagement posts are fun. And sometimes they have nothing to do with Zaya. I found a graphic today that said something like pick two smells that you can only smell like that you want to smell forever. And all of these smells were great smells, but it's like, everybody wants to come on that, right? Because I feel like sometimes when you're like, here's light and tights, here's brilliance, here's joggers, here's these kind of joggers, here's these brawls, like people are just like, God, okay, like I get it. So take a break and keep everybody engaged and try to have fun with this. 
an engagement game. Okay. Okay, so it's your first party. Okay, so, um, all right, I'm having a problem. Maybe I'm, I've tried keywords, I've tried nonsense. I'm running out of ideas. Um, you're, okay, you're having the problem with people not being engaged. Um, Nikki, that, we could go down the rabbit hole with this one. Um, but you're like you're prepping your host topic and then if we have time we can go into more of like vip give like yeah that. does that sound fair okay yeah absolutely um so we won't forget you nikki you can literally message erica and i and we can help you with this after if we don't get to it um so yes have her comments have her tag friends like that graphic says like comment tag uh, depending on the bingo card that you give her, walk her through that. A lot of people want to do things and they have the idea in their head, but they have no idea where to start, it's especially somebody that's not usually done an online party before. So like one of the squares in my bingo card is post your wish list. So usually after I've introduced a good amount of the products over like three days or so, I'll say, hey girl, it's Friday, it's payday. Today's a great day to post your wish list and talk about some of your favorite items and why you want them. Um, because these ladies, you just have to keep in mind that when you're hosting a party, the majority of those ladies don't know you. So you are literally a stranger trying to sell them something which is super sketchy compared to their friend trying to sell them something. Um, so I have gotten a couple people, which like I said, you don't want to push anybody outside of their comfort zone ever. You never want to do that, but you do want to encourage them. Um, I've had some super shy guests in the past and they've said, listen, I just don't know if I'm comfortable. Um, like maybe she only has an all-star bra. She's like, I'm not comfortable posting my bra. I'm like, you don't have to post your bra. Um, or I've said, you know, if you want to post a picture of you, pull your shirt to the side and say, listen, I've got this all-star bra on today. Here's what I did in it. Here's why I love it. Um, sometimes they're not even comfortable posting their picture, but I said, I've said, okay, um, here's a graphic of what you're wearing. Talk about it today. Um, but every once in a while, no matter what you do, no matter how much you've coached your host, no matter what you get somebody that only half ass listens to you. It's just going to happen. Um, so usually I try to early on tackle this issue, maybe day two, late day two or early day three, um, because I don't want the party to go too far down um, before nobody's getting notifications. And I have given Erica this analogy and I've given everybody this analogy and I will literally message, voice message actually, the host, no matter what my relationship with is with her. And I'll say, Hey girl, listen, I know that you're super busy because I just assume that everybody's super busy, even though they're not half the time, whatever. But I'll say, Hey, I know you're super busy. Um, and I totally get that. I just want to emphasize, um, once again, the importance of commenting on every post, because I really do want to get you some free and half off activewear, And I want to make that happen. Um, but we've got to keep your girls engaged. So I'll say, um, imagine, I want you to imagine this, um, when you are not active in your party or when you're not engaging in your party, I want you to think of it like this. So you want to host a party at your house. Um, just any old rager. I don't care what it is. You want to host a house party, but you don't know where to get started. So then you call in the expert. That's me. And what you need to do is invite your friends. But what I need to do is I'm coming with the music. I'm coming with the food. I'm coming with the games. I'm coming with the drinks. Um, I'm coming, I'm coming with all the hype. I've got it all. All you need to do is invite your friends. But how awkward is it if I bring all this stuff to your house, I've got the music going, the drinks, the snacks laid out, the games ready, all of your friends are there and you don't show up. Super freaking awkward, right? That's basically what's happening. And I try to say that in a more positive way. <laughs> But I say literally exactly that. That's why it's important for you to show up because right now I'm hanging out with all of your friends that I don't know at your house, at your party, and you're not even there. 
do you really think that they're going to want to hang out with me, especially if I'm trying to sell them something? No, they don't. They don't want to do that. Okay. So, and I have used that analogy plenty of times with my hostess and I don't know what it is, but I think sometimes analogies just click with people because sometimes they just don't get it. You know, I can tell them if you don't comment on the post, your friends aren't going to see the notifications. But then when I explain it in that way, I'm like, why would you be excited if your friends aren't? We've all been in a party. I've been in a party for another MLM company where the host didn't comment or like anything. And I thought, I'm not buying from this. She doesn't even care. So if your host doesn't care, why would her guests? So, and like I said, that's what I, those are what I use the big guns for. Like if I've literally said, Hey girl, today's a great day to post your wish list or Hey, tag a big booby friend in this, or Hey, if her favorite color is purple, tag her in this. Um, and I literally have coached her. Um, and she just doesn't care. That's when I've said that I don't come out guns blazing <laughs> in borderline emotionally abused people for that. So, um, what would you suggest if your host doesn't have any Zaya attire? I have had a host not have Zaya attire and she still had a successful party. And you know what I told her? I said, listen, I know that you don't have Zaya. And um, I said, but none of your friends need to know that. Okay. They don't. Um, if they live close and they're about the same size as you, give them some of your stuff to take pictures in. I've absolutely hundred percent done that. And that kind of just works out as luck because we're all different shapes and sizes. Um, but I told her, I told my host, listen, I know that you don't have Zaya yet, but act like you do act like you do. So, um, because she was engaged because she shared her wish list, she talked about different items. She tagged people. Um, she was a great host. She still, she went live during her party and thanked everybody that had joined and encouraged people to ask questions because she was engaged. It was still a really successful party. Um, so that doesn't have to make it or break it. If you think that it would make it or break it, I know that some people have offered, here's the $10 gift card to use to purchase something to show off during your party. Um, and that's one way to get a sale, get your money back. Um, and then she does have something. And if your hostess only has one thing, I've literally told my hostess, every time you wear that red bra, I want you to post it in your party. I don't care if you haven't washed it because that will just show how much you love that red bra. And you can say, this is my only Zaya item, but this is why I need more you guys, because I literally don't care if it's dirty. I keep wearing it. And I don't know if any of you have ever reused your sweaty sports bras, but that says a lot. Okay. Let's see. Maggie was a host who never tried Zaya. See you guys. It's okay. All right. So, um, if you do choose to do a bingo card, like I said, um, definitely walk them through the bingo card. If it's post their wish list, if it's, they need to go live on one of the things say, Hey, you got, you know, this is a great day to go live. Um, one of mine says, um, to message all guests before the party closes, usually, um, depending on the party, if they have had a super successful party, I'll be lenient. I'll be like, just message the people that haven't bought yet. Um, or if the party's kind of a dud, but it's only like day three or four, I'm like, all right, time to message your host, like personally. Um, I will walk them through literally everything. I just assume they don't know anything and they don't know how to do it. And like I said, a lot of ladies want to help and they want to do stuff, but they just don't know where to start or they don't know what to say. Um, every once in a while, also, I will give my host a post to post. So like on new release day, um, usually I'll give them a collage of the new releases and I'll say, Hey, post this and talk and say, um, I would, or, Hey, I want you to post this and ask everybody what their new favorite release was and tell them what yours was because one we kind of like pump out those new release posts. So who knows if they saw everything, but two, there's all of them in a collage right there. And then three, there's her engaging with her friends. Um, same on bra day. If you talk about your bras, I know that there's some this or that's out there. Have her post a, this or that. 
usually um, every day or every other day, I will try to get my host to post something um, just to keep her friends engaged, show that she's excited. Um, and I know that they're still going to see the post because like I said, this fake Facebook algorithm, woof, it is the worst. Um, let's see if we have any more questions. Yeah. Crystal jumped in as a rep without knowing out owning any Zaya. She's crazy, but I'm happy she did it. <laughs> okay. So, um, one of the, one of the, things that I do when I start the party or I'm starting to talk about, you know, what is I, here's all this stuff is I'll say, Hey girl, um, I want to know what your guest background is. Like, is she a military wife that is, um, inviting a whole bunch of other military moms? Um, is she a CrossFitter that's inviting a whole bunch of other CrossFitters? Like, is she inviting a whole bunch of people that only do couch fit and they just want some comfy, cute clothes? Because depending on that will kind of depend on how much focus I want to put into certain products. So um, one of the things that I do for military people or, or wives of military people or even whatever is um, I will do a we wear red on Fridays post um, and I have a collage for it and we wear red on friday stands for remember everyone deployed um and a lot of crossfit gyms do that a lot of places do that but the military community loves it so i will do a we wear red on fridays post and throughout the whole day i'll talk about the red items that we have in stock one of them at like one at a time and usually they eat it up um when it comes to like maybe the couch fitters, I am going to emphasize joggers. I'm going to emphasize, emphasize the cardigans. I'm going to emphasize the comfort line, which, you know, if I was in maybe a party where there's a lot of CrossFitters, um, I'm probably not going to talk about the comfort line because those bras don't do anything for you. Okay. They do nothing. So, um, whatever my, whatever my focus is in that group is what I usually try to go on. And sometimes they're not going to have a focus. So that's great. Do your own thing, follow your party checklist. Don't really go off the grid and just introduce everything equally, but it is always nice to know the people that you're dealing with. So that's why sometimes you'll see like on the marketing designs, like, Hey guys, I have a party full of nurses. Can I get some pictures? Um, and it's good to do that. And it makes everything more personal because you're, those guests are going to see like, Oh, she's really trying to like, show this just for us. And it is a little flattering. Um, couch fitters. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. So I feel like I could keep going on forever, but basically I just want to kind of, um, I talked so much. Do you guys have any more questions? <laughs> um, I'm going to kind of go through everything one more time as in just like bullet points to take away. And if you have questions, please type them. And then if you don't have questions, we'll get back to what Nikki said. Um, so rule number one, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, okay? But do take this information and pass it on to your downline if you need it. Um, go slow and be a, a tad bit manipulative when coaching your host. Don't vomit all this information on her because she's gonna run away. Um, get her locked in, get her group going, and then slowly coach her tell her what she needs to do with a graphic, send her a bingo card if you wish. Um, the bingo cards that you're giving out or that you will see um, should be kind of hard to get. And so the bingo card that I normally give out, if they get all the squares in that bingo card, they paid for that bomber bra 100% and more, and it's way worth it to give it out. Um, and also one of the squares on there is have two friends host a party. Well, that's two parties that you have booked. You have over $600 in sales from that party, most likely. And you have two parties booked. You're set up for success um, for the future. I'm going to get, I'm going to give her a free bomber bra for that. Okay. Um, remember to walk them through everything. Pretend that they don't know anything. You're going to have some rock star host that um, is baller and you feel like she's doing all the things that you would want her to do and you didn't even really have to tell her to do anything. And that is awesome. They are unicorns and they need to be reps. So you better love on them. But I would say 80% of them are not that way. And 80% of them don't, they 
are willing to do what they need to do, but they need to be told how to do it. Even when it comes to posting a graphic, they're like, what do I say? So usually I'll say, hey, post this graphic. Here's an, here's an idea about it. Um, or here's an idea on how, what to say. You can change it to your own verbiage to make it sound like you. Um, have them post a welcome message in the group before they invite people. Um, have them comment on every post, even if it's at the end of the day. Um, and sometimes my hosts will be like super good about it the first two, day, two or three days and then life happens and then they don't and they're not great about it. Um, and then I'll just remind them, hey girl, I know you're busy, but don't forget to comment on every post. You were killing it the first couple of days and I want to keep this party alive to get you free stuff. And then they're usually like, oh my gosh, you know what? You're right. I'm sorry. My kid barfed on me and everywhere in the car. And then I had to clean my car and then I had to take the kid. And then I'm like, I get it. I get it. Um, coach your hostess in terms of um, what they should, like how they should comment, who they should tag, all that other stuff. Um, and then try to get a background on them so you can be a little personal for each party because people love that. Okay, best tips on booking parties from parties. Do you have a goal? Does the host help you? Yes, the host helps, helps me. Okay, so I love booking parties off parties because um, one, I get super busy super quick. And that makes me look really cool, by the way, because sometimes people are like, I want to have a party. And I'm like, sorry, girl, I'm just not available till July um, because people want to work with busy people. But OK, so the best tips on booking parties from parties, I 100 percent have my help or my host help me because if I just go up to some. So we're going to go down the rabbit hole here. So one thing that Erica told me a long time ago is to constantly be making friends. So I didn't really get it. And then I, and then I just like, after talking about it with her more, she's like, no, like literally make friends with them. If you guys have somebody in a party that is like loving everything and commenting on the post and everything else like that, girl, I don't care if it's day two, you add that girl on Facebook. Guess what? You're friends now. Um, if you have somebody that purchases a, a big order, even over like a hundred dollars and does like three or four items, guess what? I'm going to add them as a friend on Facebook and I'm going to personally thank them for their order as well as do it on the party. I make friends that way. If you have somebody that orders, um, more than once in a party in the thank you post, I will literally publicly peer pressure them and say, Lori, thank you so much for your second order. I'm so glad that you are loving Zaya. That's another entry into the giveaway. And it sounds like we need to book your party next girl. Wink, wink, wink. And then I will text my host and I'll be like, Hey, help me help your friend get a party. Also that's on your bingo card. So, um, I totally use the host and you know, a lot of the hosts that are really working for the bingo card, I'll tell them like, Hey, we have two friends that need to host their book a party off of me. Um, who do you think would be the best bet? Like who can we give some love to? And sometimes I've had hosts like do it under the table and that person's just come to me. But, um, a lot of times it's somebody who I made friends with and then the host is like, no, listen, really ho like host a party. When's your party? Um, but I definitely use the hostess because it's one thing if I ask them a complete uh, stranger selling them stuff to host a party, but it's another thing if their friend comes to them and says, girl, I am getting so much free and half off stuff. Like you need to host a party with her. It's awesome. And it's so much fun. They're going to be like, okay. Um, kind of like at the end of a party, uh, I always do a live and I always tell everybody what the hostess got for hosting. So if they hit the $600 rewards mark, I'll be like, listen, um, Brenda hit $600 in rewards. And I'll be like, what does that mean to you? I'll be like, just for hosting, which by the way, costs her nothing. She gets $65 in free product and half off of three items. If she's already bought her stuff, I'll say what she bought and how much she paid for it. Um, and if she hasn't, then I just kind of say like, listen, she's going to get like three or $400 with Isaiah Zaya for just over a hundred dollars just for hosting you guys. Um, and then I'll say, so if this sounds like anything that you'd want to do, let's get connected. Let's reach out. And I always drop my VIP group link too. Um, so yes, I definitely use the host, use the host. And that's one of the reasons why I use that bingo card that I do is one, I feel like, and like I said, we're going to post a whole bunch of bingo cards. Um, but I have a favorite one because I feel like it has 
like eight things on it, which isn't too much. Um, but all those things set me and the host up for success. Um, okay. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Cass. Gosh, Cass typed up all the, the, the notes. You're the best. Okay. So Chelsea, my party is almost over. I had one girl show interest on Zaya. I sent her a message, but she is not my friend. She has not seen it. Um, okay. So Chelsea, when I'm sending somebody a message, if I'm not friends with them, want to either tell them I'm sending them a message, but most likely I'm just going to add them as a friend. You're just going to kind of like, one of the things that helps you in the Zaya world is just like making friends. So, um, even when it comes to recruiting you guys, like if you make friends with these people and parties, like they're going to see your future Zaya posts, your future Zaya stories. You're probably going to get them in your VIP group. Like you want to make friends with them. So sometimes, um, before I send a message, I'll add them as a friend, make sure we are friends and then she'll see my message. Um, if you can't tag her, it might be her privacy settings, but I would maybe reach out to the host and be like, Hey, can you tell her that I sent her a message and I would love for her to check her other inbox. Um, but if I were you, I would try to, um, try to add her as a friend. Yeah. So yeah, Facebook is silly and sometimes it won't, depending on your privacy settings, it won't tell you when somebody that you don't know has messaged you. Um, so honestly, ladies, if you, I would check out your privacy settings too, because I've had, um, potential customers message me or someone try to reach out to me, but they aren't friends with me, but they were in another party and I want to make sure I'm seeing their messages. So I'm pretty sure I have it to where anybody can send me a message and I get the alert, but I have to then approve it. Um, because before that, I don't think that everybody could send me messages. Okay, cool. All right. So yeah, I would Chelsea reach out to your host and have your host tell this girl like, Hey, Chelsea sent you a message. She would love for you to check your other inbox. Um, and hopefully she can do that for you. Um, okay. I think I wrapped everything up. I can go back up to Nikki's question. Nikki, um, one, I would want to know how, how long has your VIP group been going? Because I will say this, I feel like VIP groups are a work in progress. We can totally go down the rabbit hole with your, you and your VIP group, but I want to just give you some tips. So a lot of new reps that I have will compare their VIP group to mine. And I'm like, that's not fair. Um, honestly, I just got, I was just in Erica's VIP group. What? Not even like two months ago. I, and I was like, Oh my God, your members. And she was like, listen, I've been doing this for a year longer than you have. And I was like, true, true. Um, but your VIP group is a work in progress. So, um, I have found that the more I, sh first of all, I always share pictures of me. If anything comes in a restock, most likely they're getting a picture of me, um, me, 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 but I, um, try to also be personal. I used to not be very, I'm not, I don't like to share all the sunshine and rainbows and my struggles with anybody really ever um, because I'm like, it's not their business and I don't want sympathy, but sharing that stuff doesn't make you a weak person. It makes you relatable. And sometimes that's what people need. So in my VIP group, one, I'm friends with almost all of them. And two, I act as their friend. I have had some of them come to me for advice about things and I've never even met them. Um, I felt like, so like, at the beginning of the year, I really injured my rotator cuff um, muscle on my left shoulder and I have never injured myself and I had to go to physical therapy. I couldn't put weight over my head for like three months, like physically couldn't do it. Um, and normally I would never share that with anybody because I feel like my personality is like, that's weakness, which you guys are probably going to laugh at. But I started to share with my VIP group one, the fact that I was going to physical therapy, two, that I had been injured, um, three, how I felt about it, how it made me feel. And I would just share that with maybe me and a picture of Zaya, which they knew I was wearing Zaya. So I didn't need to talk about it. Um, and my VIP group dynamic has changed a lot since I started being more personal with them. They are my friends. I am their friends. And I really tried to change the dynamic of my group. Um, to not always be about selling, but 
be about personal stuff too. Um, because everybody in your VIP group knows what they're there for. They know you sell Zaya. They know that you have new releases every Wednesday. You're going to tell them and not that you don't need to post that stuff. Like I, every time I get a new outfit, I post it and tell it what it is. Tell, talk about it. Sometimes I'll even go live if I'm feeling froggy. Um, whenever there's new releases, I'm going to post those restocks. I'm going to post those, but I also want to update them on my life. Um, and then another way to not make it all about me is part of my giveaways. Um, I have, which like I said, I am, I mean, I know that Erica introduced me as like the master of this, but I've learned more from Erica than she's learned from me. I can guarantee you. Um, but I have started making some of my giveaways like more personal. So like part of my giveaway is like one entry for you to post a picture of you and your Zaya reviewing it, but you get another entry if you comment something uplifting on someone else's picture. So that's kind of changed the dynamic of my group. Um, and sometimes, actually a lot of the time, my customers look way better in something than I would, or they have a different body type, um, or they have a different style than I do. So they get to see the product on somebody else. Um, but then also when these girls are posting these pictures, because the other girls get points for saying something, something uplifting, like, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I think something looks cute on somebody, but I'm not going to take the time to type it, but for an extra entry, entry into a giveaway, I will. So I have tried to not always sell to my VIP group. Um, because they know what they're in their group for. They know that they know you have a link under the announcements tab. They know all this stuff, but try to connect with them and try to be friends with them and make friends with them and be friends with most of them in your group. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying that you should always like, you shouldn't make it like your personal Facebook page, but you know, share something about you that's going on in your life in your Zaya and encourage your other girls to do that. And if you have to start with doing giveaways to do that, then there is no shame in that game. So just like for an example, I'll have, I used to only do make a purchase, get entered into the giveaway. Well, that's not, that's not personal. It's not. So, um, and like I said, as a rep, you're going to, you're going to change the way you do things and you're going to grow and everything's going to make more sense and you're going to get more and more comfortable. But now I do sometimes three to five ways to get entered into the giveaway. Um, so I do a monthly giveaway and I usually do like post a picture of you and your Zion review it, comment something uplifting on somebody else's post, um, make a purchase, host a party. Sometimes I'll get saucy and put become a rep, even though that doesn't, nobody's going to become a rep so that they can possibly win a pair of leggings, like, but whatever, I, I put it on there. Um, or, you know, I just, and I also have to, you also have to remember one thing that I've remembered is I used to only do make a purchase to be entered into a giveaway. And I'm like, gosh, that's not always fair because there's some months, especially now where people can't always make a purchase, but if they are an active member of your group, they should still be rewarded. I mean, I have one girl that posts her outfit almost every time she wears one. And that helps me and my group a lot. So why not give her the chance to win something too, even if she can't purchase? Yes, Chelsea. And I'm not saying that you have to be freaking Santa Claus and do all the giveaways because you don't. You do what you can afford, um, but just try. So I think of it like this. I do what I can't afford, but also when I'm closing out a party at the end of the month, I can afford to give somebody part of my rewards, you know, because eventually you're going to have so much freaking Zaya that you can't even wear at all. Um, but I try to think like, these are my VIPers. These are my girls that are constantly supporting me, no matter how annoying I am. These are the girls that want to shop with me. They want to know what's going on in my life in my life. So I want to give back to them. I want to spoil them the best I can with what I can afford. Um, so don't be, don't necessarily be Santa Claus, but at the same time, don't be so standoffish um, because you want to spoil them. Yes, Nikki. And then, like I even said, um, in like the parties, when I'll do like an interactive post, you guys, that post about the smells, like it's a hard one, but people will love to like do that every once in a while. So every once in a while, don't be afraid in your VIP group to just, 
I don't want to say take a break from Zaya, but maybe not try to sell to them for a day. Every once in a while, just don't always try to sell for them, sell to them. They know exactly what they're doing in that group. Okay. Anybody else? I love all of that. And I think it's all good. And it's fun to hear from somebody else other than my own voice. So if you guys have more questions, um, ask in Zyafire, um, and we'll post the graphics. But ladies, I'll be honest, most of them are in there. You just have to go and look in the units. You have to explore Zyafire. Um, but I think Anna will make a, a quick post. Maybe Cassidy will even post those notes that she took. Um, Thank you so much, Anna. Ladies, let's give her some love. Unmute yourself and yell. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Anna. You, Anna. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Love you, ladies.